Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So the 2010s was a fantastic decade for the National Basketball Association, at least for a lot of teams out there. You know, teams like the Miami Heat, the Cleveland Cavaliers, Golden State Warriors, San Antonio Spurs, the Toronto Raptors, right tail uh, towards the tail end right there, man. Now myself as a Piston fan, 2010s, you know, could kind of be forgotten. I mean, we drafted Stanley Johnson, and that's enough to freaking drive anybody crazy, right, guys? And, uh, yeah, a lot of losing. It's just not really a good time. But overall, the grand scheme of things, it was a very exciting decade. A lot of great finals matchup. And then, of course, you know, Kevin Durant joined the Golden State Warriors, and we had that little period where it was actually kind of boring because we all knew the Warriors uh, 3-1, for the most part, was going to win, right, guys? So for today's video, what we are going to be doing, as you guys can see on the screen in front of you, is a chart to build our greatest $15 team for the 2010s era so before we get going on today's video guys i need you to go down that comment section below and let me know what your team is looking like for 15 dollars uh the goal is going to be going 8 to 0 man we're gonna try to go 8 to 0 inside this it should be a good time also if you don't mind dropping a like on this video guys so i know you enjoy the series man the goal is always 1000 likes and if you're one of the 50 percent of people that watch my videos that are not subscribed guys gonna need you to hit that subscribe button guys trying to be great out here man trying to grow this channel trying to hit 300k subscribers and you can help me out with that it's just as easy as push that little bitch ass button right man um so here we go here we go we are in actually the 2014 2015 nba season i thought this was probably the best you know season to go with just because it captures all the players here on this list um and it's just like, you know, it was, it's right in the middle of the decade. So it's not really playing favoritism towards any point of the decade as, as itself. So let's go ahead and get going on this video, guys. I think I got a really good team assembled here. Uh, let's go ahead, man. So the first player I am going to be taking is the great, you know, probably the GOAT of the uh, decade is Danilo Gallinari. Is something you would say if you don't know nothing about basketball. But no, uh, Gallinari, no shots fired. You're actually a really good player. I mean, I thought you were going to be a superstar on the Knicks, let's be honest. But no, man, I'm actually going to be going with a beacon of winning, guys. And that is going to be Tim Duncan. I know he's 38, but he's only $2, 85 overall, and this man is a straight-up winner. This guy knows how to win basketball games. The fundamental out there. Uh, towards the tail end of his career, he did play a lot of center, so we are going to rock him at the center position. You know, just somebody that knows how to throw shots back, can get you a point whenever you really need it. I mean, he's had a few moments in his career where... Uh, he didn't really come up in the clutch. But, you know, everybody has bad moments, right, man? So, Tim Duncan, I thought, was an absolute steal for $2. I would take Tim Duncan right now for $2. Like, Tim Duncan suit up, bro. You know, with the new haircut you got going, I think that. I think he's currently uh, co helping coach the San Antonio Spurs. I would take him for $2 right now. So, here we go. First selection for our team. All right, next up. We are going to go with a $5 player. Now, this guy right here definitely represents the decade. Um, you might think it's Steph Curry. Steph Curry did change the game of basketball, but there's so many great point guards on this list that I actually am not going with Steph Curry for this video. No, man, we are going for the guy on the Cleveland Cavaliers, the face of basketball itself, LeBron James. Do you guys still think LeBron's the face of basketball? Do you think Steph Curry took it over? Do you think another player is going to take it over soon? Let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, uh, LeBron James can do so much with so little. And, you know, got himself a championship on Cleveland. That was really cool, of course. You know, with a little mini dynasty with the uh, Miami Heat. Just a really good decade for LeBron James, right? Of course, the 3-1 story, which we all know and love so much. That was a fun time. That was actually a fun time because that shit came out of nowhere, man. But yeah, we are going to get LeBron James for our $5 player. Okay. So we showed love really realistically to the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Miami Heat in theory. Uh, so we got to show a little, not, not, little love now to the Golden State Warriors. Uh, we are going to go with the $2 player right here, man. And of course, you guys know who it is now. It is going to be Clay Thompson. To me, Clay Thompson is the ideal just teammate. I mean, a guy that can let it up like a number one option, but has the ego of like a second or third option to the point where, you know, just his attitude itself is going to elevate your basketball team because you know you can count on the man but he's not going to go out there and be a bitch ass at any time man like he's going to go out there drink his butt light have a good time make some three pointers and it's going to be good so for two dollars uh that was an absolute steal so here we go welcome to the team clay clay thompson uh one of my favorite shooting guards really of the past decade or so just a lot of fun to watch in general right man okay so next up we are going to go with the one dollar player we need a point guard Dame Dollar, guys. Dollar Dame. Whatever you want to call him. It's Dame Dollar, though. We are going to get him, guys, for a $1. Absolute steal. Uh, this season, he actually was an all-star, so a 90 overall for only one buck. No way I was going to pass him on that. Like I said, Steph Curry's great. Russell Westbrook and what he did with the triple-double. Uh, CP3 of the Clippers. You know, Kyrie Irving win the championship and stuff. But no, ultimately, Dame Dollar for $1. Way too good to pass up on. So we are going to put him on the team. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what Dame Lillard continues to really accomplish as a player. I do hope he gets, you know, some winning under his belt, though, some championships. I don't know if it will happen to the Portland Trailblazers. I 
just, I don't know, man. They definitely got to make a big-time move, though, to do so. But, yeah, in this case, we are going to try to go 8 0 with Damian Lillard. And then, finally, we got $5 left. We need a power forward. Now, you know, Anthony Davis is a great generational talent. Uh, but, actually, man, I got to go with the man, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is going to be playing power forward for this team. If there was any player during the 2010s to rival LeBron James for the best player in the NBA... It was KD, which is why we were all so mad when he left the OKC Thunder. You know, I'm not going to mention it again. I think I've already mentioned it twice in this video, guys. We all know how it went down, right, though, man? But, yeah, uh, straight up. Now, of course, going to this next decade, Kevin Durant is going to be coming off a major injury. I think he'll still be a great player. I don't know if he'll ever be returned to this form again, though. Um, I do think it's going to be a guy like Giannis that's really going to rival LeBron James just as the new face of the NBA, right? But here we go, guys. Kevin Durant for $5. Definitely could not pass up on him, which is why, you know, I avoid taking some other higher guys on this list. You guys might be looking at this and be like, yo, Giannis for $3, it's a steal. Keep in mind, this is 2015 before he was really his true form out there, right? Or Kawhi Leonard for $4 would have also been another great pick. But in this case, um, you know, he was still a youngish player on the uh, San Antonio Spurs. So I think for, you know, our little $15 budget here, I think I built the best team possible. I mean, I got Kevin Durant, LeBron James... I can't really think of anything else I could have done much better. I mean, maybe you can argue saying Tim Duncan was a little bit of an oversell at 80 for 85 overall. Because let's look ahead at like Marcus Saul, who was only a buck. I guess in theory, we probably could have took him. But I'm trying to win championships, trying to win games, right? And yeah, he was an 86 overall for a dollar. So I guess something like that you can definitely argue, man. But overall, I'm very happy with how this team is. I'm going to go ahead and put them into an NBA season. Uh, get the rotation all set. Although they are all going to play 48 minutes. So not too much to go with that, man. But yeah, I will see you at the beginning of the regular season. And like I said, let me know in the comment section below what is your team looking like for $15. Okay, guys. So here is the starting five. As you can see, we are rocking with the Pittsburgh Phantoms. So Pittsburgh, you finally get yourself an NBA team right there. Um, yeah, as far as our team record, I'm going for 82-0. I don't see why the team couldn't do it. But at the same time, you know, freak things happen in the NBA. Uh, so, yeah, normally I actually, like, jump cut to the end of the season. But I thought this would actually be a good time uh, as we go through the simulation here. Just kind of, like, talk with you guys and update you on my life and stuff like that. Like, what have I been doing in the quarantine? All that good stuff out there, man. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and just roll this simulation on PS4. So damn slow. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and let that roll, man. So what exactly have I been up to? And to be quite honest, not all that much. Really been focusing heavily on YouTube as of late. Uh, the main channel has been doing absolutely fantastic, guys. Like, you guys have really been showing that crispy ass support out there. It's greatly appreciated. And, you know, when I'm out doing main channel stuff, I'm working on the second channel, Extra Crispy. Uh, at the making this video, that channel did just hit 86k subscribers. So, really trying to get to 100k over there by the end of the year. So, if you're not subscribed, man, go check it out. But, uh, yeah, absolutely love doing the reaction channel. And just like reaction videos in general, man, you know, it's just like a good opportunity as we take an L there to the Atlanta Hawks. Um, it's just a good opportunity to just like, like, like chill, talk about basketball, stuff like that, as opposed to a normal 2K video where you have like a subject that you need to stay focused on. So I absolutely just, you know, if you really like the fan engagement, stuff like that, I do a lot of that over on my second channel, Extra Crispy, man. But uh, yeah, really missing playing basketball right now. Uh, I miss it like crazy just because it's been probably about two to three months since I've last gotten to play. And, uh, yeah, I will say in my years of playing, that's probably the longest I've ever gone without actually shooting a basketball. So I'm a little nervous about the jump shot once we, uh, you know, get out of quarantine and go back to the gym and stuff, which I have no idea when that's actually going to be, right? Like, nobody actually knows when we are going to be able to get back into the gym. And I don't really have, like, any, like, outside hoops around me. Um, but I'm actually kind of, like, focusing on buying a house right now anyway. I don't know if, like... I don't know when it's going to happen because I'm renting a place right now and just, uh, you know, there's a lot to go on with buying a house. I've never done it before, so I'm a little nervous about that. But, uh, yeah, really focusing on that, too. And I would love to just get a nice, big, huge driveway with a nice basketball hoop. The ultimate goal, I actually found a house quite a few months ago, but I wasn't, like, quite looking to buy anything yet that actually had a full-court basketball hoop in the backyard. It wasn't some, you know, big, huge, rich, billion-dollar mansion. I don't make money like that, right, man? But, no, just, like, it was a normal house and just happened to have, like, a basketball hoop in the backyard. So that was really cool. I'd love to find myself something like that. But uh, who really knows, man? You know, I'm not really a very, like, high-maintenance person, so I'm kind of cool with anything for the most part as long as it's not, you know, you don't want to live in a bad place or nothing like that. But, uh... Yeah, and besides for that, I've been focusing a lot on, for some reason, like the stock market. If you, if you guys don't know this about me, I actually did have a bachelor's degree, I graduated bachelor's degree um, in finance. So, 
you know, with the stock market all crashing and stuff like that and fluctuating like crazy. It's been a lot of fun with uh, just kind of focusing on that and giving myself a little extra hobby. I think that's really the most important part during these times of uncertainty is keeping your mind busy. And I know a lot of you guys do that via watching YouTube videos or, you know, doing, you know, playing video games, stuff like that, man. So I'm just trying to find like new challenges, new goals for myself out there. And the stock market has been very challenging and goal oriented, just really understanding that whole aspect of things. But uh, yeah, as far as video games go, I don't really play a lot of video games anymore these days, like outside of my 2K videos, just because I don't know, I, I haven't really like found like a good game to like, like sink my teeth into, you know, like for me to sit there and play a game, it's gotta be something I'm really, really into. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that new Avengers game to come out. I think that's still like the end of the year though. Like that one will be a lot of fun. Um, but no, not really like any like big time games that I want to play. Maybe if you guys got any suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. The biggest issue I have with video games right now is that so much is focused on those Battle Royale games. And I, I'm sorry, guys. I just don't like them. I tried to get into Fortnite. I tried getting into the, the Call of Duty Warzone. I just, I, I think it's probably because I'm bad at them. I don't know. But that's the thing. It's like, as far as like shooter games go, I used to love Halo and you know, I used to like to play regular Call of Duty, but the red, the Battle Royale, I just don't get into it for whatever reason. Man. I know there's like a big, huge fan base for it out there, but no. Um, so yeah, as far as anything else I've been doing, it's just not really too much. You know, been trying to focus a little bit more on health. I have my good days, have my bad days. It's been mostly good days though. It's just, you know, every now and then you have a bad day and you just kind of beat yourself up over it. But, uh, no man, just focusing on that and yeah, just kind of chilling lately, man. Just doing a lot of chilling lately. Loving YouTube guys. I will say that's been one of the most blessed things is that while YouTube in general, like the numbers are up financially, it's been down way time, like big time, like people's like revenue is down like 50%. But for me personally, I just love doing it so much that it's okay. Like, I, I can do this shit for free, bro. I'd be happy with it, right? Um, of course, I like doing it for a living and being able to make money and, you know, not have to go to a 9 to 5 job that I don't like and be able to focus on that. So that's why, you know, that's why I really push in my videos. Like, hey, guys, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button just because... It is so important, man. It really is important. I mean, that's how you grow as a YouTuber is by getting a bigger following. So, um, yeah, just being able to do this for you guys every single day and just really having something to focus on. I know a lot of people are out of work right now and not being able to just go out there and do their normal routine can be very scary. So, luckily, my normal routine outside of not being able to play basketball has not been changed all that much. But, uh, yeah, I'm just, I, I've been enjoying making YouTube videos, guys. You know, I know I've been doing my league for years and a lot of people want me to branch out from that, but... I don't know. I've tried to, yo, Chase Ewing down with an injury, bro. Bro, you don't got no minutes. How are you gonna get? How are you gonna get it right? You, did you see on your freak? Did like Kevin Durant stand your hand on the bench or something? I have no idea. Leave rotation as is. I could have swore I turned off injuries, but it's all good. Okay, but uh, no, we are actually towards the end of the simulation here. Have one or more players with an unplayable injury in the first eight rotations of a global game plan. Resolve that issue, bro. I swear, man. You, yeah, you ain't got no minutes. All right, I guess, yo, is be hurt? Okay, no, Tim Duncan's good. There we go. I thought he was hurt for a second. All right, Bailey, step up, man. Time for you to step up. So let's go ahead and uh, finish up this season here. I think I'm gonna start doing that more often. That was kind of fun. Just kind of like ranting and talking to you guys and having that face-to-face -face a little bit more. I think I should start doing that to uh, towards some of the simulations on these type of videos. If you guys don't like, if you don't like to hear about the personal stuff, let me know and I'll keep it just basketball oriented. Uh, we do got LeBron James of Pittsburgh Phantoms getting MVP at 28 points, 12 rebounds, 14 assists per game. Uh, Nurkic as rookie of the year on the Denver Nuggets. I freak, yo, Denver's kind of screwed up quite a few players, man. Like, they got rid of Rudy. They got rid of Donovan Mitchell. They traded away Nurkic. I mean, they had Jokic. So, I think, well, I have all those guys. He's the best one. So, maybe they didn't screw up. Donovan Mitchell would have been nice to keep. Amari Stoudemire as sixth man of the year on the Dallas Mavericks. I do not remember him playing for Dallas. Did he actually do that? Uh, LeBron defensive player. Michael K. Gilchrist, most approved player. Hell no, man. Not that jump shot. And then, uh, Mike D'Antoni, coach of the year. All NBA first team, we got uh, LeBron, Kevin Durant, and Tim Duncan making it at the age of 38. You got D. Will uh, back when he was actually good in Russell Westbrook. All NBA second team looking like this. Uh, Andre Drummond, Giannis making it, you know, at the age of 21, only an 81 overall. Then All NBA third team looking like this. I definitely did keep injuries on, but it's okay. Injuries are a part of basketball, right? Normally, I don't play with injuries, though, just because you, you can't really predict. Like in 2K, they do some really stupid ones at times. But uh, let's go to the player stats on the season. We got Kevin Durant leading score at 29 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists. Dame Dollar at 28 and 10. I actually really want to see Dame Lillard go and play with LeBron James. There was actually rumors of him going to the Lakers. Um, of course, it just never happened. But that would be 
that'd be a good connection, man. Or playing with Kevin Durant, really either one. I just feel like I've seen Damian as a number one option. He's done some great things. But I want to see him as a number two because I think that would just be unstoppable. Uh, we know LeBron's stat line. Then we got Clay at 25 points, 5 assists, 5 rebounds per game. And Timmy Duncan at 19 points, 19 rebounds, 2 steals, and 3 blocks per game. This guy was an absolute anchor in the paint. Alrighty, so first round we do have the Milwaukee Bucks. By the way, I don't know if I said we went 78 and 4. Did not go 82 and 0, but still pretty damn close. So I ain't too mad about it. See how we do against Giannis and Chris Middleton. They were really young at this time, though. This might have been like Giannis's like probably what, like second or third season in the NBA. I think it was his third going into his third season. So we get them. Chris Middleton, 20 points. They had OJ Mayo. Damian at 44 and 10, 38 and 15 for LeBron James. Next up, we got the Detroit Pistons. Yeah, this team was trash, bro. Yeah, this team was not making the damn plays. Look at that. We actually had Dinwiddie at the time, but uh, like the idiots, the idiots our management were, they got rid of them. They just got rid of them, as they do with their good players. Uh, Chase Ewing is, yes, he's back, man. That's like freaking the Wills Reed story right there. Okay, got them four games to zero. Dinwiddie, 17 points. 45, 15, and 5 for Katie. 37 points for Damian Lillard. All right, this is Atlanta Hawks team. Damari Carroll, Al Horford, Jeff T, Kyle Corbett, Paul Millsap. Was this the year they, like, won a billion games and they kind of choked in the playoffs? They had, like, four All-Stars, though. Uh, simulate round here. See how this goes. So far, so good. And, yeah, we are just making our way downtown, bro, to the NBA Finals. Damian Lillard's been the best. Well, I say that, and then I see 26, 13, and 19. Yeah, LeBron's still been the best team. All right, we got the uh, Houston Rockets. So, they are going to have James Harden, Dwight Howard, DeMontis, Montayunas, uh, Pablo Prigoni, Jason Terry. Okay, yeah, that's all the players. Okay, simulate round here, man. For the championship, and very easy video, guys. Four games to zero. I just like building the teams to see how they do stat-wise. LeBron James, NBA Finals, 21 points, 10 rebounds. He averaged about 18 assists. Yeah, that's absolutely deadly there, man. But, yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you don't mind dropping that like, subscribe, and if you're new to the channel. And, as always, peace out, my friends.